Hi, my name's Mitz. I'm going to show you how to create a um, shortcut on your desktop so you can press on it and your computer will shut down. Um, you can also create one to restart and one to log off, but we're just going to do the shutdown one for now. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to right click on your desktop and we're going to choose new and then we're going to choose shortcut. Okay, so the create a shortcut box comes up and we're going to type in what we want to create a shortcut to. So I'm going to write shutdown dot exe space and then a dash and then s. Now that's the si simplest way. Okay, now we're going to go down the bottom and we're just going to press next. Okay, and now it's asking us to type in a name for this shortcut. Now I'm just happy with that name, that's fine by me, so I'm going to go down the bottom and I'm going to press finish. Okay, so here's my icon that it's made on the desktop. Now, um, if I press on it, it's going to shut down the computer, but I'm going to do it um, because it's going to give me 30 seconds. After that 30 seconds, it will shut down. Um, but I can type in something to stop it so I'm going to press it okay this is what comes up right and it's going to shut down in 25 seconds now what I'm going to do is go down to the start menu and choose run from the menu and the run dialog box comes up and I'm going to type in shut down slash a and press ok now that stopped the shutdown from happening. That's the only way you can stop it. Okay, so we've got some other things that we can do there. That was a shutdown icon. Um, I've written a list here. Um, you can put shutdown.exe minus R and that will that means restart instead of shutdown. Minus L means log off okay um, and if you minus T means how much time you want for it to shut down so I'm going to show you again another example so I'm going to use the time this time so I'll put that back I'm just going to delete that cut that I made before yes I'm sure I want to get rid of it now we're going to right click again choose shortcut and the box is going to come up again and I'm going to write um, we're going to do a restart this time I'm just going to copy the text and paste it in here so we've got shutdown.exe minus R which is for restart and then minus T is for the time now I'm going to put space and then I'm going to put how much time I want it to take. Okay, this time I want it to take 40 seconds because 30 seconds was too quick for me to stop the process. Um, if I don't want to stop the process, I would have put um, one second in there. Um, yeah, but okay, but for now I'm going to put 40. Okay, so let's go. We're going to go down the bottom and we're going to press next and it's going to call it the same name again that's fine by me press finish and there's the icon now I'm going to press on that again and it's going to restart the system but this time it's taking 40 seconds okay but I'm going to stop it as usual with the move that out the way I'm going to get the run box and type in shutdown space slash a and as soon as I press that it disappears and it's not shutting down anymore okay um, there's another thing that you can do you can um, bring that back over here um, if I put the one minus T and then the one that means one second but what I did just then was 40 seconds okay um, the minus L is log off now you can also put 
I'll just stretch this a bit so it goes. Now what I've got here is shutdown.exe um, and what we can do is we can, I'll just add it on to here. It's shutdown.exe minus s <coughs> minus t and then a say give us 20 seconds and then we're going to go minus C and then you can put a quote in the brackets oops not very good at spelling okay all right so we can try that one now. So delete the other shortcut that I made. Yep. Right click. Just new shortcut. Come down here. I'm just going to get what I just typed and paste it in. So I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it here. So we've got shutdown.exe minus s, which is, which is shutdown, minus t, which is the time, 20 which is 20 seconds minus C which is the comment okay so what I'm going to do is press next and we're going to call it the same thing again press finish okay there it is again so I'm going to press on it double click on it and I've got 20 seconds before it shut down and there's saying goodbye now I'm going to get to my run box really quickly and press OK and it stop it. OK, well that's it for me. Um, you can also create a log off or anything like that. Um, a log off or a restart button. Um, that's it. Thanks for listening.